still. Like I said, I've been making adjustments with the camera and everything, so you guys can see there. It's gonna be a quick milk white fill with some gel marbling. Look really nice. So this is the customers after three weeks. We've got no lifts. She did have a boo-boo because she was lifting something, but as you see, when you do good cuticle work, good prep, you get no lifts in three weeks, okay? This is what we're looking for, returning clientele. Um, just gonna use a nice coarse, get rid of the top coat. Generally, my clients go a, a month if they want to, two months if they're super busy and neglectful. But we try to keep everything within three weeks and a month. They like to change it up. So any minor lifts, you just drill out during you're removing the polish and everything. I hope the resolution is good. You guys, is, the, is it clear enough for you guys? I'm zooming in a little bit today so you can get a closer look of when I work. Um, hopefully it'll be a little bit better. I'm making a lot of changes this week. I've read the comments and what you guys like and what you guys want to change to help. Just a quick file, uh, get rid of the top coat. We use, we use the color powder, so. And I should be getting some not polished product this week for you guys. Um, they're, they're, they're gonna send me some product to show you guys. I'll show you guys too efficiently how to do it and use the product um, so that you can get the same consistency, same results as me. Best. Um, I always talk about a lot about powder the ratio. Certain powders react differently to certain monomers. So yeah, when that comes in. So when, when that comes in, we'll be able to use it and I'll also be getting a promotional code so you guys can save money. Like now dad, if you guys want to purchase it and use my code and save you some money. Mostly it'll cover shipping and a little bit of the cost. I want to see more interaction with you guys in the lives, okay? I'll be able, like certain days I'll be able to, to uh, like this, these like fills and stuff. I'll be able to um, show you guys a little bit more, um, you know, be able to interact more with you guys. Good morning, Indiana. Where's everybody watching from? Let me know. Certain questions can be answered by my avid viewers. If I see them, I'll answer them as best I can. Good morning, Audrey. Morning everybody, if you're new here, welcome to Nail Dad. Bye John. I do lives, I show every nail, every style, everything from A to B. If you're willing to have the time to stay, generally most sets are under one hour. Most fills are under 30 minutes. So it gives you the ability to watch the whole thing. If I do a, a very if I do a very crazy freestyle, it takes a little longer. But yeah, all videos will be uploaded on YouTube. And I'm doing a little different with the videos on YouTube now. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna edit it so it speeds up a little bit so that you can watch it quicker. And I'll also take out the background noise and add some soothing music so you can just enjoy the video. So that'll be take me a little long to upload certain videos. So just, you know, be patient. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Good morning. From it's from Arizona. Hey, Michigan. I'm also a Michigander. St. Paul, Minnesota. Orlando. Casey, you're, you're in the same city as me. Green Bay, Wisconsin. What them cheese heads. Right on the other side of Lake Michigan, huh? Okay, so we've gotten the top coat off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through with the rougher sander. So if you followed my channel before, I'll, I always tell you guys the importance of, um, hey, Marilyn, I always tell you guys the importance of doing fills. It's the one time that you get to see, um, you get to see your, um, your work, and then you can make adjustments. It's very important for your growth also, if you're, 
new nail tech and you're working on clients, certain clients, you can see if there's any lifts or any breaks, could, what, what the result is. And then we, we try to adjust and we try to make it better, okay? And then that's how you grow. You grow from repeated clients. It's not just from set, set to set. When you get a return client, that's when you get to see how well your set did. That's why I, that's why I, always, I live fills too, because it's very important to see the fills. Survey doing today. Um, I just use a, a non acid primer I buy at the nail supply store. Really, no brand to it. It's just what the supply store has, and they slap their um, sticker on it. So, it may be different with your supply store, but I'm pretty sure generally all primers are generally the same. It's very important in the prepping process that so you get all the lifts out. Um, you sand down really nice, a nice, a nice coarse sander. Get it nice and dry, and you know, so that the, the product can bond. Um, and see what I'm doing right now is I'm see I'm prepping, making sure that all the areas are nice and sand. A lot of people miss the sides a little bit. That's where you get the lifts the most. Remember the corners are always where the lifts generally the most. And my prepping was really well, so I, I didn't have barely any lifts. So And you see notice the client's cuticle is gonna grow out. So you just like draw the cuticle a little bit, push back just, you can draw the cuticles or you can push back the cuticles. Either or. Um, you can push it back and then have to nip it later. I like drilling it a little bit if you have more control of your drill because it gives it a nice round look. See? So even. Good morning, Boston. Birmingham, Alabama. Hey, Sylvie. Sylvie. Sorry if I killed your name. New York City. Emily. <laughs> yes, now dad's here to teach, to lecture. If you need to hear it, I will tell it how it is. Even if you don't like it. But listen, because this, this is important. This is for you. This channel's for everybody. New, advanced, intermediate text. Anyone willing, wanting to up their level, it's nice to be able to see something from beginning and end. And like I said, I do everything. You're not just gonna see the same thing over and over again. Everything I do is different. I do a variety of things, short nails, long nails, extra long nails, nail art, rhinestones, marbling. So, Nail Dad's got you covered, okay? So we got that done. We're gonna just dust it off, make sure you get it nice and all, all the dust off because we don't want the product to mix to that. And today, like I said in the caption, we're gonna be doing a milky white refill. So now I'm gonna add my primer. Um, I get a lot of people asking me, do I do a dehydrator? I don't. Not to say that you shouldn't. If you're doing it and it works, great. But I feel like a dehydrator, what it does is it dehydrates the nail bed which if you look at it, you, this doesn't even need dehydrating. It's already dry from the course. So you're using too much products at once, sometimes kind of counterproductive. Like that's an extra step, you have to buy another. Dehydrator I mainly think is used for like when you um, do on natural nails, like if you're painting gel on natural nails, you might want to dehydrate it because you can't, you can't really course it. So you dehydrate because the natural nail is a lot more smoother and it has more oils, so yeah. But if you're using the hydrate and it works for you, I go for it. Um, I don't personally, so don't you don't have to do what I have to do. And I don't, I don't want you to switch up and you know have problems and then be like, oh, now Dad told me not to. Now Dad told you that he doesn't doesn't mean you have to. Okay. And I have my reasons, and if it makes sense. So. We're gonna start with the big nail first because this is the broken nail. Hey everybody, thank you Ash. Lafayette, welcome Louisiana. If you're new here, follow my Facebook. You'll get notifications and my schedule whenever I go live. Um, it's definitely useful, it's fun to watch. A lot of girls in here are very, you know, we're gonna like keep this channel nice and, and fun, okay? Um, 
these videos are free, they're for your, your pleasure to watch, so I appreciate your support. All videos will be uploaded onto my YouTube link, and you can watch all my other previous videos on there also if you prefer using YouTube. And, um, we, yeah, so welcome if you're new, and if you're old, thank you for coming back. A lot of you have me added, and you watch my schedule, so you... Yeah, I put a schedule up just so like, I know everybody's busy, so maybe there's a certain set you really want to see and you don't want to miss, then you'll know when that comes on. I'm going to drop my IG. I appreciate you guys' support. See more of my work on there. I have a lot of fun stuff on there. And like I said, if you're new, this is the place for you. Very fun, easy. Comes, come, my IG's there and you can so now we're going to be just doing the fill. Just get minimal. You don't, don't get too much because we don't want to overload the nail with product. Because if we make the nail thicker, it's more work for us later. Cuts down on our time when we do fills. And I love fills, okay? If you can do a fill efficiently, it helps you build your, it gives you the ability to build more application skill. I'm always working on my application skill which everybody should. We're good, and it's supposed to be a Friday. Wish me luck. No problem, Alicia. Just make sure you listen to Nail Dad and start with a structured, you know, learning curve. Don't jump into things that you're not ready for yet. Work on your application, shaping, and polishing first so that you can get the hang of it. Then you can probably bring in some clients, make some money, and then when you feel comfortable, then you move on to more advanced techniques, okay? We don't want to jump in and start doing all these crazy things and waste money on, on the product. Hard earned money. And that's what Nail Dad is telling you. So Nail Dad knows best. Nail Dad looks out for you. He'll tell you the book. I see a lot of tests. Get a bead, put it on the nail, then so there's a lot of different styles of doing it Andre for me I work a little bit faster um, I could just put the bead on and just slowly control it but that's like not my style so my technique is more of like quick work so I pull the bead and that's why I use faster monomer because I want to drive faster because I work a little quicker so this cuts down my time but that's because I've kind of mastered the application process a little bit and if you're a new tech and you need to let the bead flow down and slowly form it yourself great do that you, you build that skill you build that technique and then later on when you get quicker you understand the powder more you're able to move faster right you don't have to do it the way I do it Just, I want you to sh I want to show you my my style Uh, Ash, big brushes are great, but if you're a beginner, I recommend getting a smaller brush. You can pick up less acrylic so that you'll be able to control it more. Nail Dad doesn't want you to waste acrylic, okay? Sometimes you take too much and you don't, you don't know what to do with it. It all comes out of here. And that's money right there. I see a lot of girls practicing. I see enough acrylic on this part here to do a whole new set. Nail Dad is not happy when he sees that, okay? That's up to you. If you feel like bigger is better for you, go for it. Try it out. Everybody's different. Like I said, skill, technique, everybody is on a different level. Everybody starts differently, but we all have the same journey, okay? Don't rush it. Don't try to compete with other people. Nowadays, we have social media with to see so much stuff, you know, and we just think, oh, I want to be like that, I want to be like that. No, they're like that because they went through their own personal journey. You don't want to take over their personal journey. You want to have your own journey. You want to do it at your own pace so that you can get there efficiently. That's why I keep telling people, don't jump in and just start doing all this crazy stuff. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Carla. Yes, don't waste money. Now that definitely doesn't want you to waste money. Now that wants you to learn right, efficiently, and properly to make money, not waste money. Your time is very precious. That's the only one commodity that's free to you, but also it's worth a lot. So when you when you're practicing and you're putting your time into your skill or your 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 journey, you gotta make sure you get some returns on it. You gotta make sure you're growing. If you're practicing something that you can't do yet and you're wasting product, you're not you're stunning your own growth. You're stuck there saying, Why can't I do this? Well, if you wanna hear from now, Dad, you can't do it yet because you can't do it because um, you're not ready for it yet. I'm not saying you, you can't do it ever. I'm saying that right now, your current skill level, your current, you know, where you're at in your journey, you're not, you're not, you know, ready to do that technique. So, you know, you got to practice a little bit more with like, you know, other application and stuff and shaping. Then when you're ready, you'll be able to do it. You learn more than me. <laughs> I, I get a lot from that because, you know, in nail school, they'll teach you the basics and that, and they'll, they, get, they teach you what you want to know, um, but they don't really care about your learning curve. Everybody has a different learning curve. Not everybody's a prodigy where they jump in and grab a brush and boom, one beat everything. I wish. That wasn't like that for me. You guys heard my, my journey before. I told the story. It's long. I'll tell it another day. <laughs> but those who heard it, they, they know how it was like for me in the beginning. But nail school's great. They'll, teach, they'll, give you, they'll get you licensed, but... Like I said, now dad will tell you straight up, I don't sugarcoat anything, but sometimes that's what you guys need, like a reality check, like someone telling you straight up, like why you can't do something because. But that's, I'm, I'm like that because I care, okay guys? So we did a, a marble on this client last time. Today, I want to change it up, do a different type of marble for her, you know, try to keep it, you know, new, something unique every time. That's how I like to work with my clients. I like to give them like uniqueness. I don't want to do the same thing, replicate over and over. Gives them the ability to like have something new every time. Even if they bring me pictures, I always change something up just so that they can give their own originality to it. And that's why you see my Instagram. It's, everything is different. It's like, it's chaotic, but I like it because I like that chaos. If you see like Instagram where everything's the same, consistent, but me, everything just random, different designs. And it's fun that way because it keeps me on my, my toes. Going to school is definitely a good thing because they teach you the right proper way and then you get your license, you can legally work. Self-taught is, self -taught is a little hard because you don't get any guidance. Um, your best only guidance you're getting is online. But if you're self-taught and you're in my life, now that will take care of you, okay? ANC, no, this is, I'm just using the container. Anytime, Ryan. So, I, I don't knock on schools, they're great. I mean, but sometimes you go to school then just because you finish school doesn't mean you're there yet. You have to really um, work on yourself too, okay guys? Like school is one thing, but your self skill and your self growth is another. Oh, that, that's a little bit wrong. You have the underscore, okay? Don't forget the underscore t-shirt. That's, uh, that's another nail job. <laughs> I'm in Orlando, Florida. I don't talk pricing on my um, streams. Just go ahead and DM me if you are interested. And I can give you pricing on what you want. There you go, I just dropped my Instagram again. You guys can see a little bit more of my work. I appreciate the support. So this client does a little bit of a taper. We need a nice taper for her. So we already had the shape from last time. We're just, it's grown out. So we're just cleaning up the shape a little bit, making sure everything's nice and crisp. So that's another thing with fills too, is uh, you'll be making money, but it'll be a little bit easier because your foundation's already laid and um, you don't have to put tips on, you just gotta do prep. So don't sleep on the fills. You gotta rotate fills into your, your clientele too, because 
that gives, keeps your, your game up. I like to start my mornings with a fill. So like in the mornings I have a little bit, like certain days like Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, I'm a little more relaxed. Cause my, my, I'm, I'm, I spate, my appointments are spaced out a little bit, but on like Thursday, Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes my appointments are all black, back to back. So I, I don't want to fall behind. Cause I do, when I do these videos, I do get fall a little bit behind. So I try to um, keep my pace. But today I'm more relaxed. I can see the comments more. I want to interact more with you guys. So go ahead and talk, you know, say what's on your mind. Talk amongst the girls. I do, Casey, um, right now, I do have a lot of girls taking my online courses. You can DM my IG if you're interested in the information. I do it all on Mondays. The difference when you're watching me work, when we do take my online course, is that I'm watching you work and I'm like instructing you changing every one of your little habits while you're working and you can see the difference. Usually um, a two hour course, um, you see instant improvement right away. Um, I do have a few of my student work on my Instagram highlights. You can see how they've improved. Yeah. And I also keep up with my girls. So my Instagram, like I follow only my students because I like to keep my feed clean of everything else so that whenever I go on my feed, when I do have time, that I see my students work right away. And then I can like give them like small tidbits of advice if I see they're like slacking a little bit or going back to their old ways. So with my classes, you get the class and also you get the lifetime of me constantly looking at your stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm using an 8080 grit. It's just, a lot of people ask what brand it is. There's no brand, it's just a filer. It's 8080 grit. Hunter Hunter is also great. I'm just so used to using 8080. When I lay my my, my scissors correct, when I do her nails, I always don't bump and curl. Um, Lex, that's just, you need to practice more on your application and understand more. That's a lot of my online classes. It starts out, I always give you guys an education about certain things so that you guys might not understand. Um, powder to liquid ratios, uh, liquid monomer compatibility. So it's like, I start out with like a little bit of knowledge. And then from there, we'll, we'll start working on your, your actual skill. So it's, uh, cause a lot of you guys lack the, um, Sinesia, just follow my, uh, DM me on Instagram and I'll give you information on that, okay? And understand that, um, it doesn't matter what level you are at. If you want to take my online classes, you always have to go through the 101 two hour session with, uh, it covers application, shaping and polishing before you can take any more advanced classes. Because I have a lot of girls that are new beginners and they want to come in, they want to learn ombre, they want to learn encapsulation and designs. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how this works. Because that'll be a waste of your money and a waste of my time because you won't, won't be able to, you won't have that skill set to be able to get there. Even if I, even if I did talk, teach you, you won't be able to do it. And for your time and your money, I want to be able to make sure that you, you're growing, that you get instant growth or instant you know, um, instant, you know, uh, you, you change right away, that you know, results. Because online, we're limited to what we can do, so I have, I have to structure each class to, based off the, the um, student.
not every student is gonna have the same type of class. You might be weaker in certain areas and I'll use that more time for those areas than others. From the beginning is fine too. Most of the girls are beginners and they don't know really know what. I give them a little bit of education about the pro how acrylic and products work first, so they understand it, and then we start with simple application, slowly, and then we'll start doing um, shaping and polishing. It's funny, a lot of girls take my classes. Um, they have no clue. They 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 have potential, but they just lack the guidance. And polishing is one of the biggest weaknesses, but. They try to skip through it by using colored powder. You shouldn't. You need to get those core three down. If you read some of my posts before, before I start doing lives, I always stress about those three cores, application, shaping, and polishing. That's the foundation of every set. Don't skip it. Good morning, Adia. Yeah, share this with your friends, share this with your family or anybody that you think can benefit from it. Follow my Facebook, you'll see all my schedule of all my sets. Um, you'll see, you'll be able to get a notification, turn off the notification, you'll be able to get a notification when I go live, so you can catch it from the beginning to the end. These videos are free, guys, you know? Back in the day when I learned how to do nails, you can't watch someone work. They, they don't let you. They, they're scared you might take their clients or whatever like that. But nowadays, it's different. We gotta help each other out as best as we can. And everybody calls me the nail dad. And if you're new, you don't know why. Because I lecture girls. I lecture them. I scold them about being wasteful, wasting money. If you're in this life, I'm your nail dad. Nail dad cares what's best for you, okay? But now dad will tell you straight up too. Don't take offense of it. I'm using a small bit, um, medium grade, small barrel. And this, this drill bit might look different because it's, I've been using it for like four years now or so or more. So it's a little bit worn out and I'm really, really comfortable with that. This is my cuticle work bit. Eventually I'll probably switch it up, uh, change it up when it gets too worn out. But as of now, because my application is really good, I don't really drill a lot. So this bit can last a little bit longer. Um, so I just use it mainly for cuticle work and then maybe a little bit of uh, evening out the nail bed. That's about it. But well, other than that, you see how everything reflects around your application? The better your application, the more, you know? I wish, Adi, there's no traveling right now for me. When everything dies down a little bit more, I might be able to do some things, but just make do right now. You can join me while I'm doing these sets on my live stream. You can hear me coach you through it and, you know, <laughs> Thank you, Adi. Um, Shoni, just, just DM me on Instagram and I'll be able to reply to you by the end of the night when I'm finished with all my work on the information. So if you're new here, just know that if you follow me on my Facebook, you'll be able to get the notification right away. And I do a lot of different stuff, just not fills. If you look at all my, my Instagram, all my previous work, you get to see a lot of fun sets, advanced, master level sets, artwork, rhinestones, encapsulations, powder marbling, everything. be some changes to the YouTube channel. It'll take me longer to upload the videos because I'll be, um, I'm gonna be editing them, speeding them up, and adding relaxing music, taking out the background sounds so you can watch comfortably. I mean, sometimes maybe you wanna rewatch a certain video. Hit that subscribe on the YouTube. There's a lot of videos on there right now that you can watch from our previous sets if you're new here. 
Um, comment on the videos. Let me know what you think and what you want to see next. I, I read those things, guys. I appreciate your support on all my platforms. You know, I, I do take time out of my day to do this for you guys. Thank you, Lisa. I <laughs> I'm sad that I keep getting that comment where the people learn from my more from my videos than in school. But I'm glad that I'm here so that, you know, this is why I do it, I guess. I mean, for people like you, for everybody, whatever, no matter what skill level you're at. Even if you're just someone that's interested in nails, you're not in the industry and you like to watch it, you know? Why not? You're here to get inspiration, you're here to get encouragement, you're here to get scolded by Nail Dad. You're welcome here. This snow is a friendly environment, no infighting, everybody gets along. A lot of the girls are avid watchers here, they can answer simple questions if I miss it. And I'll, ha I'll have some nice stuff for you guys coming up. Um, not Paul's just sending me some stuff. Uh, I'll be able to show you guys the proper way to use it. Sometimes when you buy powder, you might not know how to use it as well. Um, so I will definitely use it on my streams and I'll show you exactly what to do to use it so you get that nice consistency so it works best for you. And you also get a nice promotion code where you get discounted, you know, so you save money on shipping and a little bit of the cost. Because now Daddy wants to save you money. So we're finished there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and just fin file off the shape a little bit, get it nice and crisp. We're doing a nice taper today. I have a very fun set on Wednesday night. If you guys want to see me freestyle, it's going to be a, my theme is Chanel, um, Chanel Timeless. So it's going to be a long one. So if you definitely want to you know, clear up your schedule and join me for that one from beginning to end, it'd be well worth it. Get some to drink, some popcorn, invite a friend, watch it together. It's gonna be a long stiletto encapsulation, nail art, Chanel, a lot of different unique um, techniques. I'm gonna do an amethyst style. I know you guys might understand some of those terminology, but if you come join Wednesday at four, it's on my schedule, my Facebook, follow my Facebook, you get my schedule. You know exactly what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. Give me like five, 10 minutes delay too. Sometimes I have to take off the nails or I'm running behind. So, but around that, that time, it'll come up live. If I put it, unless there's a cancellation, but most of the time those sets will never cancel. They're here early. <laughs> I had some fun sets on Saturday too. Powder marbling, rhinestones, matted. Oh. Fun, 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 fun week. And I get booked throughout the week too. So some of the, some stuff might not be added on there, but like I said, follow and Keep up with the um, follow and keep up with the um, follow Facebook. Turn off the notification and you'll get whoop. when you see nail dads going live. You know where to go. So I do this clean up a little bit. Um, generally, you don't have to do this a lot unless you're cutting down. But I like to get rid of all the excess underneath. Just nice and clean. You go underneath, get that nice C shape. Just want to give the client's hand a good buff. So last time we did um, gel polish marbling. Um, I think I, I put on the caption I'm doing gel polish, but I think I'm gonna do um, ink marbling on her this time. I'll show you guys a little bit how to use ink marbling. Ink marbling is more like a smoky marble. It looks like smoky on top of the white. It looks really nice. I appreciate you guys, whoever stay in the whole video. Those that you can't make it or you just drop by, drop by and say hi. Come back, watch it later, watch on the YouTube channel. I will be taking a little longer to upload because I will be editing most of the videos now. I'm not uploading it raw. Make sure you guys get the best quality possible.
YouTube link will be in the caption. I also have the YouTube link on my Instagram and my bio. So, or it's just Nails 101 if you guys want to join. Okay, wash your hands. So I think I do have another, I have, I have three scheduled for the day. I might do a little bit of, um, if I have free time, I might work on my, um, I might work on my, uh, artwork and then you guys enjoy me while I'm practicing on my artwork that's all that's also fun a lot of people are watching me do that because they, they get to see how the line works done and they get this and I show them the, the progress like you know um, like I show you guys like even at any level you can always grow like um, let's say I did this the other day it's like I so this is the first time I did it which I had time, then I got really busy and I didn't keep up with it. That's why you gotta consistently practice. Then I came back and I wanted to do a little bit more color underneath. And you see how this one is not as good as this one because I was getting rusty. So then, you know, I see what I did here, what I did wrong, and I made adjustments and I did another sample. And this is the third one. It's not as perfect as this one, but I'm gonna keep practicing on it. Um, this is a more advanced line work. So you can see when you're practicing, you have to see what you're doing wrong, make adjustments, and grow. Even at any level you're at, you're gonna always be growing, whatever you're doing. So you have to spot out what you're doing wrong, make adjustments, and it'll, that's, that's how you know that you've invested your time wisely, okay? Um, I use only gel polish, I don't use regular polish. UV lamps, I just think anything you can get that has at least 18 lights under there, 36 watt UV LED, perfect, or multi LED lamp. I like getting the lamp at the bottom with the little, the, the, the metal bottom that reflects the light. So it gets, it gets a nice secure. Sometimes the thumbs or whatever are leaning in there. I don't like lamps that don't have a bottom or plastic bottom because you don't get that ref refraction. So I wanna be using ink marbling um, usually I'll probably use a mat, but this time I'll use the top for it because the black, it, it, it stains in a weird way where if you use a mat, it kind of gets a little orange. So I'm going to use the top so it doesn't get orange. Um, this nice thin coat of the top, no white top coat. If you're having problems with your no white top coat, it could be the lamp also. Might not be compatible. Your lamp might be UV uh, or, or, or yeah, UV and the top coat you're buying requires LED. That's why it's not curing well, or you're not getting that nice, consistent cure. But also use thin coats. Thicker is not always better. Once the thinner it is, the faster it'll cure, and the better it cures. Okay. And you're wasting less. I will try to find my some time to finish my studio. Once my studio is up, I'll be able to have a nice environment where I can practice and do tutorial videos. That's what I wanna do. I've been trying to get these red iguana practice hands, but they keep getting sold out. Ugh. So some girls challenged me to do my own nails. If you guys get my, if my when my IG hits 3,000 followers, I will do my own hands, some fire set, and I'll wear it for one day, and I'll log it, and I'll do videos and see how I do throughout that day, okay? Just for you guys. Three thousand followers on my IG. I'll do my own nails, and I'll wear it for one day. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if I should. Get... Is that a verbal agreement? <laughs> Hello, Christine. Sunbrand's great. I just think look at the specs. They're more affordable. I think if you're new and you're not, if you're new and you're just starting out, I think you use more cheaper lamps fine. Um, it's a little bit difficult to invest in like a $100, $150, $200 lamp when you're just starting out because, you know, you're using your own income to practice. And it's totally understandable. Um, just make sure you're curing time. Like I said, all lamps generally made the same. Just check the wattage, 36 watt and above. You know, at least 18 lamp lights underneath. Um, UV LED and you're good. Just remember, the, the hardware inside are all the same. It's just the, the 
the specifications are different, okay? So I'm using a black ink. A little bit of acetone. You can mix alcohol with it. That's fine, whatever. A lot of people use alcohol and have a mixture. Hey Tina, welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm gonna drop my Instagram again for you guys. Appreciate the follow. You see a lot of my previous work. And I, I, I'll commit to it. If I, if I, when I hit 3,000, I'm gonna do my own nails. Good morning, Anna. You want these two? Okay. So we just get our French brush. Just enough. You play. You try to play with it too much. It just gets worse and worse. Um, we're gonna do nice and simple. We're not gonna go too crazy. Kind of messed up a little bit. All the ink is gone. Let's see when, because we put the top one on, we can definitely just swoop it away. Start over. It's okay. clean marble we don't want to like overwhelm it I mean the nail is shorter so we have less space to work with you just like nice clean breaks that gives it that marble look nice elegant then we can always slap the top coat on again Same finger on that side, on that side. Or you want these two? Okay. You can do these two, be cute. Okay. Mismatch. So, no, you like generally, I would use some. Um, on a mat, but like I told you guys earlier, this black really stains the mat, makes it kind of yellow. I've had previous problems with it before, that's why I'm learning from my previous mistakes. And I'm just gonna do on top of a clear so it doesn't stain. And like I said, we're not gonna do too much black, we're just gonna do just enough to give it a nice a nice break, nice, nice look. But you know, marble is like very free flowing, and not every marble looks the same. I'm trying to get the same look. Um, that's the general rule. Marble is a natural, a natural occurrence in nature in rock formation, so they're all different. None of them are all the same. So you don't want to look have the same look. Everything has to look different. That's what gives it that marble look.
Less is more sometimes, okay? Switch. Trim some of your cuticles. I pushed back our cuticles earlier, so I'm just gonna trim some 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 the dry skin off with a nipper. And we're gonna hit it with a top coat. Yeah, try not to play with it too much with them when you do marbling. I see a lot of people they, they try too much, keep adding too much, and it gets muddied because the colors will start blend. Like if you use the multiple colors, they'll start blending together and it just starts looking very like muddy like you know when every, like, too much things going on and it takes away from the elegance remember marbling is supposed to be elegant free free flowing um natural remember marbling is a natural occurrence in nature it happens to rocks over time so it has to be natural free flowing fluid and with a nice off-white like this you don't want to have too much because it draws away too much attention okay Show you guys the top view so you guys can see. Give me one second while I clean off the cuticle oil like I always do because I don't like a bunch of cuticle oil on the nail. That's not my thing. Once you put the cuticle oil on, it's already set into the cuticles, okay? You can wipe it, and if any dryness on the hands, so when you wipe it, see, it's gonna get rid of that dryness. You don't have to pour a whole bottle. You gotta conserve your cuticle oil too. Adds up, you know? Now, Dad, save me money again. I'm gonna use the pink fur this time because, um, you know, if I didn't use white, blending too much but this is to show you guys the look so we did a milky white fill just some natural marbling everything's different different flow nice and clean simple shape taper square this is what you try to achieve when you do a fill you gotta make sure the client's hands look like they're a new set. This is when you know the client, you see how her, her hand naturally goes like, like that? So when I put the tips on, when I get the full set, I make sure that when I hold the hand together, it's all straight, okay? You gotta make those small adjustments because not everybody's hands is the same, okay? So this is how you build clientele, through your um, ability to, you know, do fills, see what you did wrong, and you get to see your work. Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in. I have a couple more lives tonight. Um, if you're new here, follow my Facebook, follow my Instagram, see more of my work. I'll drop my Instagram one more time. Good morning, and I hope to see you guys later on today when you guys get the notification I go live. And the video will be saved, and I will definitely upload it after I've edited it. And I appreciate you guys. And I hope this helps some of you. And I, uh, if it did, great. If you enjoyed watching it, drop a like here yeah, and share it with anybody you like. See, nice finish, right? Just nice and simple and classy. Um, white. You got to be careful when you're working with white. Generally, you don't want to do too too much loud stuff. If you do loud, make sure you keep it on one finger, so it gets the accent now. But if you do loud throughout the whole nails, make sure it's consistent or you're gonna just have a very bad consistency. But you guys can see, nice and clean underneath, nice C shape, no excess. Um, she won't have a lot of lips because I did a lot of cuticle work. Nice clean cuticle work. Okay guys, I'm gonna sign out and I appreciate you guys joining me and we're gonna be seeing you guys later on tonight. I do have some fills with designs and rhinestones. I do have some ombres, I believe. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oop, that's my forehead. <laughs>